Welcome back friends to the shop. So I wasn't going to do a video on this, but I, I posted an Instagram picture of the, the boxes here uh, last night and a lot, of, uh, a lot of you guys asked if I could do a quick video on it. Uh, what's behind me in the shop here, this is a, a one year supply of long term storage food uh, for four people. That's um, with a 25 year shelf life uh, in five gallon pails. Uh, so I haven't done a lot of videos this week. Um, I've just kind of really, you know, Mrs. W and I got together and, and kind of took a look at our situation. You know, if we, you know, if we got into a uh, situation where, you know, I wasn't able to work or a natural disaster or civil unrest, it just, there's so many indicators and there's just so much chaos that uh, I would just feel better to have my affairs in order and have a little bit of, um, well, a little bit of self-reliance, right? So this is what we decided to go with. Now, some folks ask in the comments, don't you guys grow your own food and don't you have an orchard and all that thing? Yeah, of course, we have, we have a good year supply of food from just things that Mrs. W has put up over the years in our larder. This is just to supplement that. How nice would it be if you lost a job uh, and didn't have to buy food until you could get back on your feet. How nice would it be uh, when something really terrible happens, a natural disaster, earthquake, where you're not gonna be herded into a FEMA camp and you've got some options. So I'm not telling you what to do. Um, I, there's a lot, there was a lot of negativity in the comments whenever I talk about this. And, and I don't take too much, I don't pay too much heed to it because it's just, um, it's just the ignorant talking. You know the analogy of, of the crabs in the bucket, right? Knowing when you put crabs in a bucket and one of them gets a, a handhold and wants to crawl out, the rest of them want to pull it back down. When you see someone taking responsibility and you see someone kind of, um, you know, laying things up in store for hard times, it shines a spotlight on, on definitely on us. Uh, I guess it shines a spotlight on all the things that we probably should have done uh, that, that didn't, and it's uncomfortable, right? So I don't care. If, you don't, if you're not into this and, and you don't care about um, um, you know, laying things up in store and, and preparing for whatever could happen, um, go for it. I couldn't, I couldn't care less. As for me and my community and my group of neighbors and friends and families, we're on the same page. We're doing radios, we're doing food, we're training, we're, um, uh, you know, all the things that, you know what I'm talking about. So let's pop up one of these boxes. Uh, we'll take a, just a quick look at it and uh, maybe a little bit about why and what I purchased and, um, you know, maybe it'll help you guys. So let's see what's in the box. Before we get into that, now the food, of course, is just one aspect of it. There's a lot to consider, a lot to think about. What I've been doing is I'm going through the shop and I'm getting rid of all anything that's superfluous. Su super superfluous. <laughs> that's a word that I always struggle with. Uh, it's, I, just, I guess, you know, we've talked about this before. If, I, if I'm not using it, you know, I don't know what it is about stuff. You know, you have something that maybe was important to you years ago in your life that you used a lot, and then you, you find yourself moving it around and trying to find places for it. And I realize, you know, if I haven't used this in, in the 10 years that I've been up here, I'm probably not gonna use it, right? So I'm getting rid of a lot of that stuff and sharing it with neighbors and stuff. So just getting down to basics and getting to quality. So what I've been working on over here is uh, kind of the automotive stuff and fuel storage. So diesel, um, gasoline, kerosene, two-stroke um, mix, um, water, uh, all that, or water storage. I'm not storing the water out here. We have so many springs and so much water on the property that that's not a problem. I'm looking into digging, doing a hand-dug well. St st uh, we're gonna be, uh, that's c coming up. Um, tires. Do you have tires, extra tires for all your vehicles? And if you do, do you know how to change them? Do you know how to change a tire by yourself without a tire machine? You know, things to think about. Do you have your generator sorted out? Do you have engine oils? Do you have antifreeze? Do you have the ability to plug your welder into your generator? You know, all those things just to be, to, to think about. You know, you have this thing in your, this, this idea in your mind. Like, oh yeah, when the power goes out, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hook up my generator to the dryer plug and I'm gonna do all this stuff. And then what typically happens is if you haven't rehearsed that and you haven't done it, uh, well, the power goes off for seven days and you're like, oh, I don't have that stuff on, oh, this is the wrong plug and I never, oh, I, you know, my gas is bad in my generator. So there's a lot to think about all that stuff. Um, let's go look at the food. We're gonna see this together. I haven't even been into these boxes yet. So what I decided, or what we decided to order is we ordered food from um, My Patriot Supply. I looked at Mountain House and I looked at all of them. I did a, quite a bit of research on it. And this seemed to be the, My Patriot Supply seemed to be the, the, um, the best value 
so, and I like the way it was stored and all that. So I think a year for four people, that's based on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, uh, which is pr pretty generous. Now, if you supplement that with um, you know, a little bit of venison, uh, hunting, um, you know, the orchard, growing the food, what you already have put up, um, maybe a wandering errant cow, <laughs> those things happen, right? Um, then you're in pretty good shape. Uh, couple that with uh, a really good water supply and good, actually I should probably talk about water filtration. So, you know, of course we've talked about the importance of water. You know, you can only go a couple days without water. That was one of the key things when we were looking for property was it had to have an off-grid water supply in it. So what I have, what we do for filtering our water is we use like the Berkey style filter or the Alexa Pure or the Aqua Rain. I think that they're all pretty good. Uh, we went with the, um, this is the Alexa Pure. These are the charcoal gravity filters. And we already have one that we use daily. Um, and so in case something happened to, to that or it, you know, the house came down or it was destroyed or something, uh, we have a second with a full set of, with four, four replacement filters. Um, and then we're not gonna use it, we'll just put it away. We got the stainless steel deal, so we'll keep it in a separate building um, and we'll have that it's portable. Uh, we could loan it to a neighbor, you know, if they, if they had problem with water or their power went out. Because not everyone has the luxury of having artesian springs on their land. You know, that with water, you can take buckets down and, and, and get it. You know, if you have a well pump and that pump is 100 feet, two, 300 feet deep, I mean, have you, how are you going to get water out of that? Have you seen your wellhead? I mean, you, you don't even have the ability to get the pump out so you could even get a small rope and a bucket in there. So you got to think about these things. They're, it's just not an option um, uh, to just uh, hope. It's not an option for hope to be uh, a plan. Uh, but uh, some folks asked about um, rodents and how do you keep them from getting in this. These are in heavy plastic buckets. I know of no rodent that has been able to chew through any of these plastic buckets. I've got a lot of plastic buckets stored out in outside areas uh, that have food in them. I've never had an issue. Uh, one thing that I've recently came upon, a way to prevent rodents from destroying everything, it was such a simple solution and it has just worked like magic, is peppermint oil. I bought this um, highly concentrated, it's 100% pure peppermint oil on Amazon, and I mix it, I don't know what I mix it, you know, 10 to one, or it's really strong in just a spray bottle with water, and I spray all my engine compartments with it now. I spray the engine compartments, I spray, um, I'm starting to spray all uh, my toolboxes and, and all that stuff that mice get in and destroy stuff. I'm spraying all the motorcycles. It's awesome. <laughs> Apparently it lasts for six months or so. So we'll see, I've only been doing it a few months, but I have, it's pretty much eliminated the rodent problem that I have. So I guess once I get this all up on the pallet rack, then I'll just spray, <laughs> I'll sp spray everything. And there's no downside, it just uh, smells kind of minty, it smells nice. So yeah, so what we, we end up ordering this, the, the six month supplies. Um, I mean, I don't know what there is to say about it other than um, it's just, it feels really good to have. It feels really good to have uh, a long, a big supply of food um, for your family that know, you know you're gonna be taken care of. I can't tell you the peace of mind it gives you guys coming from a person that used to be in, in crippling debt, um, that lived outside of his means, I can appreciate it. Um, I, you know, we spent irresponsibly. We, we bought things that we didn't need. We bought things on credit with credit cards. And years ago, you know, it finally came to the point where Mrs. W and I got on the same page and got involved with the Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and, you know, paid off a lot of money um, and got a debt. So today, here now, you know, getting these things in order and having 300 gallons of fuel and 300 gallons of diesel and 10 years of firewood cut, split and stacked, um, an unlimited water supply, two, three years of food, um, you know, thousands of rounds of ammunition, you know, all, clothes, you know, all those things, candles, you know, that, it, it is, feels really nice that you can uh, know and, and to be debt free. You know, and that's the cherry on the whole top is to not have credit card debts and student loans and car loans. Uh, I can't tell you the freedom that comes from that. Um, and how important that is. Um, and if you don't know where to start, you know, we've probably we've talked about this in past videos. You know, I would get, get yourself plugged into that financial piece. I, I, as we said in our book, it works. And I can tell you, I can guarantee it worked because we had to do it twice. Yeah, so um, yeah, so that's it. So I, I, this is not a product endorsement. We, 
actually half of this order, I think I said, is, is my neighbor's and the other half is mine. We, so we have two years for our family. No, excuse me, six months for our family. January 1st, we're going to make a second order. So we have a full year for each of us. That would be one year for four people. So this is what it'll look like. But this here is only half of it uh, is mine. Uh, I like the Patriot Supply stuff. They have good reviews. Um, they shipped really quickly. Uh, they were really on it with customer service. Uh, this, no, no gripes at all. I like the storage containers. They're stackable. Um, very good system. I would really encourage you. I, I know it's overwhelming to try if, if you're not prepared for anything and, and you haven't really started, um, but you got to start somewhere, you know, just maybe set a little money aside. Sorry guys, the battery died there. Well, enough of my rambling. Let's take a look at this. I have not opened one of these yet, but you know, years ago we went, when we first started down this road, we, uh, Mrs. W and I went to the, well, that's really sealed. We went to the Mormon cannery and they have a pretty good program if you want to it's probably about the cheapest food that you can get. Uh, you can look up the Mormon cannery in your city and you can go there for the day and you can, if you help out, um, they'll, um, you can uh, get food, long-term storage food and it's really, really affordable. You know, the Mormons are really into the uh, uh, hoarding food. But the thing that I like about uh, the My Patriot Supply stuff is each thing is individually labeled with a, a Ziploc deal on the top. So you're not cracking, op cracking something open uh, and, and you have to eat five gallons of beans or rice, right? You can pull these out um, and you can mix them up. You can, you can give them out to folks. You could, uh, if you want to just use them for your backpacking and stuff or camping, you know, it just gives you so, much, so many more options. Um, I think it's a great system. And just having the rodent-free storage, I mean, that's, that's, that's worth a lot uh, in itself. So uh, I will uh, contact them, I think, uh, when I was making this order, it was a big order. They asked if I wanted to set, set up an affiliate account. And I said, yeah, we could do that. Uh, so I'll put a link down below if you're interested in going and purchasing something. They're, they'll pay us a small percentage. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all the details are, but I'll put a link there. And they said they're going to have, they'll do like a hundred bucks off your order. So, uh, but if you haven't done anything, at least, you know, get yourself, set a little money aside and, and get yourself a three month supply for your family. Um, I think that's like six of these buckets. Um, go down in the subject heading. I'll put a link there. I'll pin it to the top comment. You can take a look at it. At least start somewhere, right? And uh, maybe you just get a bucket a month or a couple buckets a month. And, you know, before you know it, you'll have a pretty good supply. 25 years shelf life. You know, you can kind of put it up and put it away and, and forget about it. But what a peace of mind um, that would be. So... More to come. We have a, the shop is a complete disaster. We are slashing and burning. We are going medieval uh, on um, getting rid of stuff and, and finding out what it is that we're th that we are lacking. And what I find for myself is when I'm not organized and I've got I've got some gas cans over here and I've got some oil over there and you don't really know what you have, right? It's hard to keep track of it. So that's why, like I showed you the gas can wall over there, I can quickly look at that. Like I got 12 quarts of 30 weight. I've got four gallons of antifreeze. I've got, you know, so much fuel. Um, so that's it. I'm gonna be doing some big fuel tanks. I have one 300 gallon now, but my ultimate goal is to do 300 gallons of uh, diesel, 300 gallons of non-ethanol fuel, uh, set up on a, a pump system that we can work, uh, we can use. So storage is not, uh, or, or a long jet story, storing it for a long time. It's not a big deal because we'll cycle through it. We'll just uh, pump the, uh, fill up our vehicles from it. I have a friend that owns a fuel company and he can come up here, you know, once, twice a year and, um, and just fill us up and, uh, and we don't have to stop at the gas station, right? Do all that stuff. So a uh, lot to think about, not to think about it. I'm going to be really covering a lot of the personal protection, firearms and body armor, that sort of thing, but I'm not going to be doing it on YouTube. Um, there's something coming up that I can't speak to yet, but I'll make the announcement soon um, that will be a friendly, uh, a friendly place for us to host all of the things that are um, unauthorized on YouTube. So thanks for watching and uh, keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families and we'll see you guys on the next video.